Buddy, um, and welcome to this little tutorial we have here on how to optimize your Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch Internet Online Experience. Now, you've already downloaded the game, courtesy of the video that's, um, hopefully it's being responded to. And now, this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to actually, um, how you say, make the most out of this little game here. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this little website right here, cutstuff.net, and the forum section right here is really helpful on what you need. So, we're going to go there in a bit. Let's see here. There's also Doomseeker here. You might want to get go, to, go do a Google search on Doomseeker and go to this website. Um, after that, here we go to the projects forum. And in the projects forum, you're going to find this uh, little topic called looking for missing wads. Check here first. Now, here you might as well want to get a uh, look here. Uh, you know, this will also teach you how to install Doomseeker, but I figure you, you, know, you want to also do, just keep it in one video or one tutorial here. So here we have the map packs, we have the game mods, you know, make sure you get all these, make sure you get some of these, some of these are hosted, some of these aren't. Uh, this too. Uh, get everything here. It's going to be a little bit of a long download. I think there's about, uh, say, about, mm, well, considering this one is about 66 megs, this one's about 24, this one's about 36, that's around 100, uh, that's, that's a lot. That's at least over 120. Um, shape bundle, cap pack, rock pack, best meds ever pack. Uh, these aren't as hosted. This one is kind of hosted. This one's barely hosted. Uh, nothing to worry about here. Just download all this. Uh, get yourself Yellow Devils classes, Cut Stuff Community classes, Rachel Wenza, Bada Pock, Chaos Gen. You know, I just get all of this. Just, just, just ignore me. I'm, I'm, I'm being an idiot here. Next thing you want to do after downloading all this, make sure you keep this in some sort of folder because we're going to need that folder later. You're going to want to go here, uh, doomsecret.drdteam.org. There will be a link at the bottom of the video or wherever YouTube decides to put its uh, description in the near future. Uh, I'm going to have that. Going to put it download. And you're going to want to download uh, complete 0.8.1b plugin update package whatever that is that's that's about a 8.8 .8 megabyte download right there nothing too big so you finally get that so let's see here uh, that's not it uh, here we go just want to extract that don't do um, you know just keep it in a zip don't keep it in a zip file just extract it to a folder you know you can easily access later um, once you've done that here we have it here doomseeker.exe is the only thing you're going to want to click and let's see, don't run an administrator. If you want to keep it convenient, you want to uh, pin it to taskbar or pin it to start menu or keep it somewhere like a create a shortcut right here to the desktop, you know. It makes, a, makes going online a lot easier and a lot more convenient. So we're going to start that up. I have it in the, I have it in the taskbar down here. Okay. So, doomseeker.exe. It has a lot of servers. If you want to get more into Doom or, you know, just playing Doom online, this is definitely the tool you want to get. You can see right here, there's Andronum, there's um, Skull Tag, there's um, Odemon, I think. Shoot, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really um, intelligent in my Doom Foo, so uh, let's see here. Just keep this open. Just, just make that open. Okay, it's lagging a bit because I have a terrible PC. I apologize for the crappy frame rate, but this is the best we can do because this is being made in a bit of a hurry and nobody else wants to do it. So, you see here, that's where you are. Yeah, I think I can see your... If you see your name here, you know, you're on the video. Congratulations. Oh, my rock. What the hell is that guy doing there? <laughs> God damn it, my rock. Oh, wow, he has... Oh, he has 23 ping. Oh, holy crap. Oh, this is from Sweden. Oh, my rock, you're hosting a server. Oh, that's awesome. Anyways, go to options, go to configure, and right here you have Doom Secret Configuration. The only thing you're gonna have to worry about is Skulltag. Uh, Skulltag.exe. That file should be in your Mega Man 8 bit deathmatch folder, so you know, just hit this and then look for it. Um, I'm just gonna skip the searching process because, again, my PC is crap. And obviously, you know, you, you want to get uh, through with this tutorial as soon as possible, so it's not here in download, it's not here at all. In fact, where it is, is actually in a special folder. Um, okay, not in a special folder, god, what's I thinking? No, it's in this little folder I made for, uh, you know, online gaming, called online gaming. So I have, uh, let's see here, I have Doom, I have LOL, League of Legends, I have Minecraft, and I have ZSNES, that's, uh, oh, that's not need to be underground. You know, so if you ever want to play me there, you know, hit me up. And Mega Man 8, but Deathmatch is going to go in super slow here. Go to V2C, and you're going to want to look for your Skulltank.exe. Don't look, don't click this, not yet. Click this. Okay? Good. Perfect. 
All right, smashing. And Master Server Address. Recently, Skulltag kind of had a bit of a problem. I think it's fixed now, so, you know, just keep this. But if you feel that you can't see any of the servers, there should be a tutorial on Cut Stuff on Cut Steps Forum to figure out, um, yeah, what you would call something else. And this testing releases, uh, I just keep it there. I just make, it, make up a folder for it, you know, just because. Uh, file paths. This is the most, most important part of the video, so please pay as much attention as you possibly can to this part of the video. And this is um, where your where your files go, where your mods go. Yeah, I told you. I told you we're gonna have to make something like that. I told you. You know, keep your file mods in the folder because we're gonna have to do something very important here. So let's see here. We're back in your Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch folder. I ho hope you keep it open. And right here, you're gonna want to create a new folder. And there's a skins folder there. So if you can enable skins. You can install them too, just put them in the skins folder and they should load up with skull tank. And there shouldn't be a problem. New folder, I'm gonna call it mods. Alright, call it mods. Made a mods folder, that's for mods. And I'm gonna open this little folder up and you can put all your delicate little mods in there. I don't put them I don't I don't put uh, the mods folder, you know, in my Mega Man 8 bit deathmatch folder. In fact I actually keep a... Uh, I have a bit of an extra folder. I keep an extra folder outside the Mega Man 8 bit deathmatch file folder. It's, it's right down here. It should be right there. Uh, ignore the pictures, ignore any, everything here. This is irrelevant. I keep uh, folders for expansions, map packs, maps, modes, and weapons. It's recommended that you do the same so just a little bit. Oh, well, I don't think you should do it. You know, just you know, put a folder, call it mods, and you could dump every little mod. You could drop dump every little thing. I just like to be a neat freak and uh, you know keep this organized. So once you've done that, let's see here. You want to go add. Click the add button. And then when you click the add button, you're going to want to look for your Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch folder. I'm going to be looking for my, uh, whatchamacall, uh, let's say here, um, skins folder, because I, I already deleted the, the mods folder for some strange reason. So let's go down here. Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch V2C. And and sorry for the crappy frame rate and crappy PC, but at least we're getting this doing. And once you're done with this, you can play almost any server at almost any time. And I'm just gonna select my skins folder just for the sake of it. <laughs> so pretend this is the mod folder, and you select folder right there. Hit OK. Uh, don't worry about any of the other stuff unless you want to mess around, you know, Doom Seeker. And you should be done. There you go. You are done. You are clear for takeoff. You are finished. You don't have to worry about a single thing. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, God, I forgot. File pass. You're also supposed to add your Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch folder uh, as well. So, pff, silly me. You know, why does it keep bringing me back to that? I don't want to go there. No, I do not. No, please take me back. Take me back. Take me back, baby, I can change. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. I'm gonna go back to this little folder here. Shut I'm sorry for making a mistake. Should have also added uh do 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 and just select this folder in general. Okay? You have to select the mods folder and this folder in general, otherwise you won't be able to enter any online servers in the near future. Okay? Hit okay. Ta da! You're done! Done, baby. You're done. Now, I just click this right here, sift through uh, servers by IWOD, and it should be showing me the uh, Mega Man 8 bit deathmatch servers soon. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit. You don't have to scroll down too far, right there. See? See? See, that's where you are. See, there you guys again. There you go. You're on the video. Congratulations. There's Mega Quint, there's Stylin, and there's Roko Chan. I don't know who the hell Roko Chan is, but he already knows how to change his name. I'll show you that in the next video. And there's Myrock. Oh, hey, Myrock. How you doing? Uh, let's see here, and then there's TDM with Needleman, the Caesar, uh, some people. Homies and Black Blake Unite, alright, homies. I don't know what you guys are doing. Ah, there's a server. This is where the veterans are. Dark Aura, JC, Mr. Shadow Man, and then there's you guys. There you go. And so, because we can uh, do whatever we want, here we are. Uh, go to the Saxon Hail server with Trent, who decided not to host AMP. Or IX. Okay, buddy, whatever you say. And you see that all these folders are green. I mean, all these files are green, which means you have these folders. You have these mods. Um, 
So pretend I go here, see it's missing. I have all this, and I have all that. So now, you just double click a server, and you're good to go. Alright? Remember to check out stuff.com, uh, not com, dot com, dot net for updates, and make sure that you uh, try and be kind out there, because there are some people who can be assholes, and it's your job to uh, tell them to stop being assholes. Alright? See you on the servers.